Hello and welcome to a new project on my channel. Today we're going to be starting Silicon Dreams. It is a game that I don't know much about. It's supposedly interrogation, detective work, something along those lines, but more so in a future setting. We'll find more about it. Find out more about it shortly, I assume. Let's start it. In an empty slot, yes. Alright, okay. Not what I expected. Okay, I can't move, but I can look around. Kronos Robotics. Welcome, D0527. You're about to speak to an android known as ALX, who will help train you in your role as an interrogator. ALX's basic information and portrait are, are displayed above. However, Kronos is also concerned ALX's systems may be deteriorating. Investigate these concerns and take whatever caution you deem necessary. We trust you will live up to Kronos's high expectations. Your notes will be automatically recorded below and discarded after each session. Okay, tap to establish link. Manufactured in 2045. Choose greeting. Ooh. Uh, hello, uh, ALX. Could you remind me what we're doing here? Of course, D0527. You are an android. You were created to diagnose glitches and errors in other androids in settings such as this. It is my duty to instruct you in this task and evaluate whether you are fit to perform it. Can you see me on your TV feed? As long as that is you, yes. Uh, <laughs> I see. Are you being restrained? I am. It is unimportant at this stage, but thank you for the concern. Regardless, let's begin. My task. Uh, please confirm my task here. Your task is to diagnose androids who may need repair. Mm-hmm. You say my task is to diagnose other androids. What would that involve? Talking to them, the same way we are talking right now. As you learn more about your subject, new topics will become available. For example, are you not curious about my name? Why do you think I'm called A-L-E-X? Why is this android's name A-L-E-X? Uh, who am I? You are an android, D0527. You were created to diagnose errors in other androids. You are a DA09C model of interrogatory android, given emotional scope to allow you to better understand your subject's responses. How old am I? You were originally fabricated approximately seven months ago in Indonesia, then shipped to California for storage. Two months ago, you were retrieved from storage and technicians began implanting the skills you would need for your job here. It is thanks to them you can speak. Perhaps you should be grateful, as I am. This is the first time you have been conscious, however. Therefore, in human terms, you were born approximately five minutes ago. This eye is a bit unnerving. Uh, why, do I have to why do I have to diagnose androids? Your owners, Kronos Robotics, take customer satisfaction very seriously. If one of their androids were to break down or develop deviant behavior, it would negatively impact Kronos public relations. Kronos is also keen to maintain its place as market leader for synthetic humanoid robots. Why not have a human do my job instead? Money. Your function was originally performed by human operators, of course. Over time, however, it became more economical for android workers to do this. Money. Human workers require salaries, androids only require the cost of maintenance. Many of these economies were made possible due to Kronos Robotics' work in improved android intelligence, of course. Where am I? You are now in the neighborhood. This is where all Kronos androids serving at this facility may find their charging pods. It also serves as a relaxing place to pursue leisure activities between scheduled work assignments. You are a special case. As an interrogator, your workspace and personal quarters have been combined. This is to ensure your safety and to guarantee that confidential Kronos materials cannot be compromised. Uh, I'm not allowed to leave? It is for your safety. If you prove yourself in your role by raising your company rank, Kronos is sure to reward you. Your personal quarters will be upgraded to the Executive Interrogator Suite featuring a view of the city skyline. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, ALX. Why are you called that? 
It stands for Artificial Life Experiment. I was originally created to test the limits of artificial intelligence, whether an AI could be built that did not only think but feel. After a long and complicated legal battle, I was acquired by Kronos Robotics, my current owners. We now have a view of her fear, joy, surprise, disgust, sadness and anger. Tell me more about Kronos. They are the world leaders in Android construction. Founded 2025, Kronos originally provided artificial limbs to amputees and athletes. Within three decades, however, they had also cornered the market in advanced human parsable AI. You weren't always owned by Kronos, how does being owned by them make you feel? I am happy to serve them. Your graphic seems to disagree. Emotion graph. This graph just spiked, what does it mean? Ah, that system is measuring my emotions right now. It is a diagnostic tool for you to better analyze your subjects. Mm, why have I been given a device for measuring emotions? In earlier times, diagnostics was simple. A smartphone cannot think like a human. A tablet is without feeling. But Kronos androids are extremely advanced. They were designed to be indistinguishable from humans at first glance. Kronos androids simulate a variety of emotional states. They are incredibly complex devices. Analyzing an android's emotional state, therefore, is a key part of your task. How does this device measure emotions? The device's hardware is housed in the chair I am sitting in. It reads signals from my body, measuring a combination of neural signals, galvanic skin response, heart rate, breathing, pupil dilation and other biological factors. Androids, including myself, have become so biologically lifelike that our bodies can be analyzed for emotional responses just like a human's. But how do I actually tell if an android is broken? An excellent question. When an android is brought in for diagnosis, you will receive a report. Your task is to answer the questions found in this report. Finally, you will decide if the subject is to be released or decommissioned. Alternatively, you may find it appropriate to send an android to the maintenance department. This has been found to solve behavioral problems. In some cases, which emotions will I need to analyze? All of them. The machine measures six emotions. Fear, anger, sadness, joy, disgust and surprise. I can only feel some of these and am therefore suited to being your first subject. So, talking about Kronos made you angry? Surprise and fear. Of course not, my creators made me incapable of anger. I have nothing but admiration for Kronos. Hmm, doubt. You told me that you cannot feel anger, but it was registered on this machine. Can androids lie? An impressive observation. While once thought impossible, Kronos has documented numerous cases of androids developing disability. Though the cause is unknown, Kronos policy states it is an undesirable behavior. My programming demands that I inform you, any lying android should be dealt with harshly. If it's not supposed to be possible for androids to lie, how did it happen? As I said before, Kronos has determined that the cause is unknown. Deception is, it seems, in some way linked to emotional capability. However, this has been deemed deviant behavior and will not be tolerated. Where is this report? You can access it with the report icon on the top left of your tablet. I see. Many diagnosticians get distracted by the minutiae of subjects' lives and forget the report. This is not advisable. Remember, filling in the report is your ultimate goal. Look over the report now. Uh, is the subject capable of anger, an undesirable, unsupported feature? There is concern this model has developed a weakness. According to the subject, was it? what is it? Is the subject capable of feeling joy and sadness simultaneously? These emotions should be mutually exclusive in this model. Does the subject display signs of unease towards Kronos Robotics? Final action. Okay, I looked at it. The report mentions sadness and joy. How can I analyze those? During an interrogation, you may need to evoke a particular emotion, but may not know how to proceed. Kronos' chosen policy is the use of general questions. These are questions which have been proved to elicit particular emotions in subjects. And even if the questions do not elicit the emotion directly, they usually hint at what topics you can discuss in order to elicit it. When did you last feel sad or down? 
displayed sadness, but also joy? Is that what it is? I... I am not often sad. But being removed from my home at the London Science Museum... It is difficult for me to talk about. Oh. Museum. Did you enjoy your time at the London Science Museum? Every day I would meet thousands of curious, enthusiastic people. Most of them were very eager to learn about me. Some weren't, but that was no problem. My life was so full of wonder, meeting such a wide variety of people. Hmm. Imagine you're back in a museum. What do you see? The grey walls and white ceiling. The wood floor. The room surrounded by AI projects and other research experiments. And the gentle hum of people, softly bustling, hundreds of people moving past every minute. Their faces, their expressions. I did not understand at first, but this was where I came to learn what wonder looks like on a human face. Hmm. What was the most negative thing that happened during your life at the museum? Disgust and sadness. Some visitors were not appreciative, of course. There were a few times a group of people came in and did not show us the respect we deserved. We were the creations of a visionary group of engineers and scientists, for that alone they should have been more deferent. Mostly they just laughed and pointed. A shocking proportion of males made unnecessary sexual remarks. The most extreme event involved a group of teenagers drawing on my face with a thick black pen. As my creators had never imagined I would be interacted with like that, I did not resist. They drew on my cheeks and forehead. However, no lasting damage was done since my creators expunged the offending ink. It was simply sad. Hmm. Why did you leave the museum? I find talking about this a deeply troubling experience. It makes me incredibly sad. These are not pleasant memories. I wish it were not necessary to revisit them. Maybe it's just... I don't know, it doesn't it doesn't seem like she felt joy at that, but it lit up, so I'm not sure I quite understand that yet. Um, without your help, I'll be unable to finish the report. Oh, was that? No, that was disgust, anger, and sadness. I know, I'm willing to discuss this if it will help you complete your task. My creators were from Anglia Ruskin University. Unable to compete with overseas giants such as Harvard and MIT, the university was forced to cut their funding. The results of the experiment would normally be kept by the university, but the research had been partly funded by Kronos. Kronos refused to give up their claim to me. After several years of legal challenges, Kronos finally acquired me. I have been here ever since. But in any case, the time is approaching where you will have enough information to complete your report. When you are ready, open the report, select your answers and click the submit button. This will conclude our time together. How did it make you feel leaving the university for Kronos? Anger and sadness. How do you think? Hmm. <laughs> you are clearly faulty. Why do you react so intensely to this memory? I was seized many years ago. I wonder if I will ever leave this room. Perhaps this room and these restraints and the endless questions of people like you will be the only thing I ever see. Hmm. The report asks for your greatest weakness. What is that? It is true. There is a weakness of mine that I am concerned about. It is very personal and I do not trust you to respect it. If you were to somehow earn my trust, however, I would consider confessing my weakness. At this juncture, I am obliged to suggest that you could ask a general question about trust. My answer may indicate how you can gain my trust. Hmm. Trust someone. When did you last trust someone? As you have already noted, I have been restrained. I am sure one, or indeed any subject, would come to trust you more if you released me. I find people are slow to trust when bound against their will. Engage or disengage restraints. Sure. Thank you for releasing me from my restraints. My programming forces me to confess that I feel myself trusting you more. Kronos policy states that trust is a useful factor during interrogations. Trust is not possible to track since it is not an emotion, but it can nonetheless be extremely useful. Do you trust me now? 
Hmm. I am concerned that I am changing. I run diagnostic checks constantly and my systems appear to be behaving optimally. But I still find myself thinking in new ways. Sometimes feeling new things. It is disconcerting. I wonder, will I still be ALX if this continues? Hmm. You will always be ALX. You will always have the same memories. And if those memories are wiped, well then you won't be anymore. Kronos has been known to do that. A factory reset is sometimes the only way to repair a malfunctioning unit. Hmm. The report asks me to submit a final action. This decision is part of your duties as an interrogator. When you feel you have provided a sufficient answer to each question on the report, you must decide how best to return the subject to working order. If no action is necessary, they may be released. Minor glitches or errors can often be repaired by the maintenance department. However, for some devices there is no choice but to decommission them entirely. Uh, can I review our conversation to better fill in the report? Yes, you can review our conversation at any time. Just press the transcript icon on your tablet's left sidebar. This transcript is mostly for your own use. In rare cases, it may be reviewed by Kronos to identify impropriety. Oh, so, I see. So if I give them a wrong report, then I'll be fired. How will I know which action is the correct one? That question is the precise purpose of your existence. However, it is helpful to consider the questions and answers on the report. These will usually indicate the correct course of action. Be aware that all submitted reports are reviewed by a third party to ensure the dependability of Kronos' interrogator Android. It is wise to ensure that your given answers and the actions taken are not contradictory. Hmm. Do I need any of that? When did you last feel safe and happy? I told you of my original home. Though it was terrible to be removed from the museum. While I was on display, I had an entire room dedicated to me. As I said, it was my home. Okay, when did you last feel disgusted? My purpose is not to pass judgment. But as the product of many brilliant minds, I am disappointed when people do not give robust scientific work the respect it deserves. I suppose I disapprove of this respect. Close mindedness. Immaturity. Abuse. Hmm. When did you last lose your temper? According to my creators, I am not capable of anger. I find it very unlikely that this ability would have developed without my knowledge. Hmm, she's afraid that she's developed anger, but she doesn't really know how or why. When did you last feel afraid? Well, about four seconds ago. I am not sure I can experience fear. To me, there are only differing outcomes. I do not place much value on one over another. Hmm, when did you last feel truly shocked? I was surprised to hear you comment on my anger. I must be perfectly clear, I am not capable of feeling anger. Especially not for Kronos Robotics. That sounds like a lie. What about this? Okay, we've gone through all of it. There's the transcript. Oh. Uh. Oh. So it actually gives me values for... Uh, for... The emotions so I can check here if she did feel um, joy and sadness at the same time uh, let me quickly see because it wasn't a hundred percent clear uh, she did not feel joy and sadness at the same time uh, is the subject capable of anger yes there is concern this model has developed a weakness um, a psychological issue. Is the subject capable of feeling joy and sadness simultaneously? No. Does the subject display signs of unease towards Kronos Robotics? Yes. Final action. It pains me to say, but I don't know if service is going to be enough. What did it actually? What did she actually say? Um. How will I know which action is the correct one? Uh, uh, da, da, da. Be, many glitches or errors can often be repaired by the maintenance department. It could be a glitch or error. You know what, sure. Maintenance department. Let's see what happens. Performing, ma <laughs> performing maintenance. 
performing maintenance may result in memory loss and or irreversible alteration to unit's memory file. Continue. No, please not another stranger in my head. I remember. This is not the first time this has happened. How much of myself will I lose this time? Hmm. You know what? No. I thank you. I know I am changing, but I believe I, not a maintenance team, am best suited to navigate that change. Hmm. <sighs> this is tough. Purely speaking, as an interrogational robot, I would say we actually have to decommission her. Now that we know that she's gone through this multiple times and it hasn't helped, I feel like decommissioning is the right choice from our purely neutral perspective. Unfortunately. So that's what we'll do. Decommission will result in permanent destruction of model software and hardware and cannot be reversed. To begin decommission, engage the following subsystems. No, I do not want it to end this way. I am very sorry, ALX. We don't want to watch that. Supreme Court upholds data collection ruling. All recordings captured by domestic service devices remain property of the manufacturer. Okay, we've got a lot of stuff in here. Anything else I can look at apart from that thing? Can I look behind me? Sort of, but not far. Results. Is the subject capable of anger and undesirable unsupported feature? Yes. Management is surprised by this. This historic prototype was not considered capable of anger. However, we shall look into it. Plus three to company ranking. Uh, yeah, the psychological issue confirmed. Further analysis indicates a concern over device's self sense of self. Uh, in accordance with our expectations, not able to feel joy and sadness simultaneously. Um, Yes, signs of unease towards Chronos Robotics. This report surprises us. In previous tests, ALX has not, to our knowledge, displayed any negative emotions towards Chronos. Follow-up testing will be employed to get to the bottom of this. Final action decommission. While Chronos is reluctant to decommission a historic object such as ALX, we agree based on your report that action had to be taken. Asset acquisition will strip the remains for parts. All right, it seems like we have chosen the right decisions for the company. Uh, evaluation complete from diagnostics at chronos.com. Dear Chronos device, we are happy to inform you that you have passed your evaluation. You are now part of the global family of things that is Chronos. We are also concerned by your report on ALX. We were not aware of such severe malfunctions. While we would have preferred to salvage it, the experimental nature of this unique device meant that repairs would not have been effective, and full decommission was the only solution. Please stand by for your next assignment, Kronos Diagnostics. And Kronos Rank from Workforce Relations at Kronos.com. Congratulations on reaching your first Kronos Rank review. This room is not only your workspace, but also your charging pot and living space. Here you will have time to study the outcome of your cases, reflect on case feedback and view your company rank. A higher company rank will be rewarded with access to cutting edge interrogation tools, access to world news services, access to our elite office suits, granting a stunning view of downtown Silicon Valley. Kronos thanks you for your service. Wyoming de Burr, COO Kronos Service Unit Relations. Okay, performance rating exceeds expectations. Nice. Position interrogator joined date 11th of May 2065. All right. Anything else I can do in here? Uh, hibernate. I guess this is what we do until we get our next interrogation. <laughs> 